destroy the ever-living crap on out of that subscribe button as we climb to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are checking out the market and make sure that you keep your eye on the channel because I also have a tier list video coming at you very, very soon within the next probably few hours by the time you see this video. So smash that subscribe and like button so that we can get to our goal. So I want to take a snapshot of the uh, well, really, just the market as a whole with all of the, the craziness and the shit show that has been the ban list. <sighs> Mystic One is still not banned. But you know what? It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. At least we got a fucking list, for the love of God. So, let's go ahead and look at the market here. So, 10 of the Pharaoh's Gods. a hundred and Basically, $172 for a case. It's really not bad. I really don't feel like... I, know, I actually had a lot of people ask me this. They're like, Avery, are you going to get some cases of 10s? And I'm, every time I, someone asks me, I'm just like, no, because there's so many good cards in this set that it, it benefits you more just to buy singles. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Avery, if I get a case, I can get multiple good cards. That's true. But I mean, the whole first page minus like sealed product is good stuff. Like you want a Dark Magician girl because that's going to go up. Blue Eyes is going to go up. Red Eyes is going to go up. Like all of this stuff is very good to have, minus maybe Link into the Marines. Maybe it's good in Math Mech. But, I mean, th this stuff is good value. Plus, Diviner, the Herald may be played in uh, Tier Element once they get the new milling support in November because they're all Earth Fairy. So, yeah, Diviner, the Herald's broken as fuck. Also, Ben 10's at 3. So, yeah, let's uh, let's deal with Drytron shit all over again. Ash Blossom's at 14s. Cross House at 10s. Alubar's at 3. I don't know why the fuck that is. Bells at threes, ogres at threes. That's hot. Uh, that's like a really good investment. Nibiru's at twos. Like, if you ain't buying Nibiru's, what are you waiting for? Like an invitation? Like, go get your Nibiru's. Underworld Goddess is a dollar seventy-five. Lord, take the wheel. That's amazing. Small worlds at under threes. Uh, Heavenly Sky Prisons at under threes. Branded openings are threes. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day where Link into the Rains is worth more than branded opening. I mean. Card's good, I guess. I, I don't play fucking Math Mech, so I'm probably just an idiot. I don't really know what that card does. Albion Secret's only 50 cents. That's surprising. D Shifter's a dollar. Just wait for the fucking structure deck to come out next week. Like, actually, no, like four days. Revive Sky Guide's only $1.35. This is going to be a good investment. This may go up. If Tier Elements decide to play this and say, hey, drawing six cards is pretty fucking good, yeah, expect this to go up. Uh, Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. I actually didn't know this is a secret. I thought this came out in the structure deck. Keep in mind that this says search any field spell. So, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely worth keeping in mind. I did not know that this was in the set, actually. Dual Tower is a quarter. This is very underlooked. I would have a set of these just on the side. Like, I, I pulled one out of uh, the few tins I bought. This is very underlooked. I feel like that this could be a, a really good rogue card at some point in its life. This card is, is very much under the radar. Uh, Dark Rulers at dollars. Yeah, I mean, if you're not picking up Dark Rulers, I don't know... I don't know if you're waiting on invitation or what. Mu Beta Fafnir's are still only 20 cents. That's uh, that's actually rather shocking. Uh, Ghost Mortar's 15 cents, two cans. Yeah, you just you start going into the penny stocks after this. M Pin is fucking 10 cents. Wow. Okay, Chief. Power of the Brokenness. So, Ultimate Slayer Starlights continue to drop. Remember when these were 600 on pre-sale? How the mighty have fucking fallen. This is why you don't buy Starlights on pre-sale. I remember I was freaking out in my live stream saying that this was six hundred dollars. Now it's it's they're under three tens. They were like three twenties just a couple days ago. I'm glad I sold mine for one eighty. Probably still not the best, but still. Primeval Planets ninety fives. Yeah, the, the these things are gonna be over a hundred dollars. Give them a couple weeks, they're gonna be over a hundred dollars. Especially after the YCS in uh, in October in Minneapolis, these things are gonna be over a hundred dollars. Uh, sprites were at 55 this morning on the morning of September 26th. Keep that in mind. Um, and now they're 48s. If, if you're looking to sell Sprite stuff, you should have done it about five minutes ago. Like you, you need to go sell your shit. Garubas at 14s, uh, cards disgusting. It's really good. Kurakaras are at nines. Huh? All right. Martha's are only 11s. That's really surprising. Rhino hearts or excuse me, Rhino hearts, 20s. Hmm. Elf 16s. Kit Callus at seven. Starters are only five dollars. Kaleido Hearts at threes. Gigantic twos. Instant contacts are only four dollars. Uh, you may want to consider picking these up. It's it's an instant fusion, but for level sevens. Um, and then you fall off into the booty booty butt cheeks. Um Scareclaw Lightheart is fifty nine cents. Why? <laughs> like, I guess. Uh Tactical Masters. This set was ass. Like honestly, I I was tempted to buy a case, but then I saw it was in it, and I'm like, fuck no. 
Fountain collector rares are 50s. <laughs> Runic tip collector's rares are 104. Like, why? Regular tips are 40s. Like, if you don't pull a tip, like, out of, like, even a case, like, that's got to feel really bad. Fountains are 18s. Really, just come through here and buy singles and just get the Runic stuff because Labyrinth is terrible. Like, please, please don't play Labyrinth. I, I urge you to not play Labyrinth. Yes, Red Reboot is banned, but that doesn't mean Labyrinth is instantly good. It's it's still pretty bad. Uh, yeah, actually, everything else falls off after the first page. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, Structure Deck, Legend of Crystal Beast. Pick these up. Like, seriously, there's so much fucking value in here. Ash Blossom Presale 6s. These shifters are under a dollar. And the tokens are actually kind of moving along. Haman really needed the reprint. Rainbow Ruins needed the fucking reprint. Ghost Bell, yeah. Goods, fuck off. <laughs> Cosmic Cyclones, that's always good. Melody of Awakening, that's that's always a nice reprint. Um, Metaverse was in here, I forgot about that. That's a good reprint. Uh, Crystal Abundance, I mean, all this stuff is cheap AF. Advanced Dark is 33 cents. That, that deserves to be about a, to 5 cents. I was about to say a quarter. I'm like, wait a minute. Selling yourself way too much there, Chief. Anyway, yeah, pick up these uh these structure decks. Like, seriously, $9.21 a piece? Like that, that's you realize that's like $3 under MSRP, right? Like that's that's really good. That's really, really good. Uh let's go ahead and look at some singles. Cyber Jar Ultimate Rare Duels Pack Kaiba. You're looking at 30, basically $32 um, near mint on them. I don't know if this seller's offline, because sometimes they'll show like a price on here, but then you go to add it to your cart and they're actually offline. But assuming that this person's online, you're looking at 32 for a near mint unlim ultimate rare. It's not that good looking of an ultimate rare, I'll admit. But it, it looks okay. Light plays jump up to 6666. 6666. Uh okay. What is uh what's a first dead? I'm gonna get you. Damage first dead for 39. Light plays 88. Uh near mints are 92s. What are these cap out at? Oh uh, fucking $250. Jesus Christ. I mean, if you want, like, a cheap ultimate of a card that just came back, go for it. We also have the Hobby Leagues here. I want to pull these up for you Hobby League fans. Um, I know I personally love the Hobby Leagues from back in the day. Uh, they're pretty cheap. $24 for a light play. Near Mint is about 40 to 45 if you want the Hobby League version. If you want my humble opinion, I say just go for the ulti. Ultis just, they look better. Substitute. Keep in mind this has only had one printing out of Light of Destruction. So you're talking, like, tw uh, two? No. I was about to say 2010. I'm out of my mind. 2009, pretty sure. Um, heavy plays for 13s. Really, these aren't bad. That You're looking at 14 to 15 for light play. Near mint is $15. See, the issue is here with Substitute is that it's at one, and you really can't do shit with it. <laughs> like, you can't bring out Rodentone. You don't have a way to FTK. And, like, even the near mints. Near mints should be, like, what, $25? Near mint first edition. You're looking at $25. Yeah, like, and it's a one of. If you even play it. What are you going to play it in? Fish OTK? Like, uh, you do you, boo-boo. Uh, I want to look at some other, like, good main and side deck techs. Necro Valley Ultimate Rares are getting bought out. You're looking at ultis from Astro Pack 4 for 120 Keep in mind, this has had a lot of erratas. If you are not, and I'm, I want this to be clear. If you're playing, like, let's say the Pharaonic Guardian Magic Card Field Spell Super Rare, you need, you need to have the proper translation for Necro Valley. Because if you don't have the proper translation, you will get in trouble with the judges at an event for it. So don't be an ass wipe and try and pull a fast one and use the one that doesn't have the correct, you know, wording on it. Which, I don't know if, why you would even fucking do that because you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage. But, I mean, you do you, boo-boo. Um, make sure that you have the proper translation. I would say just be on the safe side. Get one out of Duelist Saga for like 12 bucks or even Yugi's World for like four or five, and just go on your merry way. Um, it's it's an auto win against Tier Element. <laughs> Mystic Mines, these have gone the fuck up. I remember looking at these before the ban list dropped, and they're like a dollar to two apiece. Everyone thought they were going to get hit. 15s on the supers, you're looking at like 10 to $11 on the golds. It says eight bucks, but whenever you click on it, it's like $11. And then 22 for the secrets, because everybody has to have max rarity. It's fucking disgusting. Um, looking at a pointer of the Red Lotus. These have dropped hard. OTS are like sixes. Freezing Chains are twos. Stardust Overdrives are threes. These were like, uh, on average, like eight to $10 a piece, ladies and gentlemen. So guys, that is your market. Please let me know down in the comments what you think about all this because uh, it's, it's, it's the market for you. People are going crazy. Not as crazy as I thought though. I thought things would be a little bit more insane, but 
I feel like that this balance was kind of passive in some ways. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.